Okay guys, today I'm going to be telling y'all about a program that I like to use called Format Factory. Um, I know that there's some videos already on this, um, but I'm going to be telling y'all why I use it and maybe y'all might be having the same problem. Pretty sure there's some of you out there that will. Um, but anyway, I'm going to first show y'all where I get it from. And I just like to Google, so I'll Google it and it's just type in Format Factory and download excuse me alright it's going to be the first one here where it says format factory download and this is a soft tonic uh, website and you just click download there and follow the prompts and all that you know how to do it alright a little issue I'm having. Well, first of all, my wife bought a Kodak Easy Share C190 camera. It's a digital camera. She bought it from Walmart. Uh, it, it's a pretty decent little camera for what she used it for. So I gave it a test run. Uh, I made actually made a YouTube video, and it, it did fairly good, I have to admit. But the only thing that I have a problem with is it uses QuickTime, which is Apple software, which I don't have a problem with that either. But I like Windows Media, you know, player. So I'll show you what what happens here. So, so like, if I wanted to play one of these videos uh, that I had made, and say, for instance, I just click on it to play it, well, when you know it, it won't play it. So anyway. I'm going to be showing you how to take the format factory and convert it so that Windows Media can play it. And you know, that's not the only reason why I want to convert it, is just to be able to play it with Windows Media. Um, actually, this little deal here, like a YouTube video, I plan on making some more. And, and some of the, I don't know, not necessarily the transitions, but in Windows Media Live Movie Maker, which that's a program that comes with, you know, the Microsoft. It's on my computer. It was already on here, and it's a pretty good program too in, in itself. Uh, but I used it to get some effects, you know, in my last YouTube video. But if it's a quick time, which, like I told you before, that. Um, software that came with the camera is actually QuickTime, so it, it will not, uh, when I drag it into Windows Live Movie Maker, it doesn't recognize it because it's not the um, Windows Media uh, version or whatever. So basically, I'm going to be showing y'all how to convert it to be able to do that. And Format Factory, the latest version is 2.60, and I'll show you. Like on this video tab, it's got everything that you, if you bring a video in, that it can convert it to. It can convert it to AVI, 3GP, and that, like I said, I'm not sure what most of these are. And this is, I guess, Windows Media uh, Video. I guess that's what that is. MPG, you know, and so on and so forth. FLV, but not only does it do um, video it'll do audio you convert you know if you have some type of audio format and you want to convert it over to uh, WMA FLAC and these I don't have a clue what they are um, but it it goes on down to WAV and WAV pack but I don't know what the pack deal is alright it also does pictures and I'm not sure right off hand. I know I did use this before and I needed to I think I was making a when I was trying my hand at making a web page, I needed to convert a picture to it was either PNG GIF or JPG. I'm not sure, but anyway, it worked real good for that also. Alright, but well, I'm gonna show y'all now uh how to, well first let me show you, you know, that this is the actual quick time you know that came with the camera and I'm not complaining about it I mean it, it is what it is 
Oh, let me cut that off. It is what it is, and it's 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 okay, but it's not for me, and I don't like it particularly. So, but actually, you 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 click on video, got the video up here, and I'm gonna just do AVI. Uh, wherever that is, there we go. That's what I'm gonna be converting it over to, and if this little screen will pop up, and it has little settings here, and I guess this tells you uh you know different things about a high quality and size and different I don't play with that but anyway this is your output setting and you just click uh, add file and the particular one let me find it <coughs> six alright there's the one I wanted to do alright so I just open it um, yeah so I open it and just click uh, OK and it brings it up here and then you just click start and it I think it takes about I don't know I think the last one I did took about 40 some seconds or whatever but in the meantime I'm gonna pause this and let it do its thing okay guys it took exactly 49 seconds uh, well I think it's 48 there anyway it took 48 seconds to do it and I'm just gonna clear the list there and we can exit out of here and I'm, it, so I'll show you where it takes it um, the video when it's done converting it it, it sends it to your documents because that's where the uh, I guess by default the folder and it, you'll see FF output which it stands for format factor output um, and it'll be in here and there it is and as you can see there it is and it works good um, and that way I can edit it in Windows Live Movie Maker so but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I plan on making some future videos um, some stuff that's actually helped me and I just wanna pass the info along and I appreciate you watching and if you want to you can rate and subscribe thank you